I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti's up first with a very active weather story. Yeah, we've got a lot going on out there. Scattered showers continue throughout the night for us. And then tomorrow, maybe a slightly down day. Still plenty of clouds and scattered showers. And then by Sunday, more moisture pushes in behind a cold front. And we'll see numerous showers across the state. A South Valley businessman disappeared a week ago today, and sheriff's detectives say they are now very worried about his safety. Miguel Soto told his wife he was headed to a friend's house to clear up a debt that the man owed him. Soto made it to that man's house, but he never returned. A few hours later, officers found his red Chevy Tahoe dumped on the Mesa in Valencia County. Deputies say they questioned the man that Soto met with, and his alibi checks out. The 31-year-old Soto, who owns an auto body shop, raises racehorses, and is well-known at tracks in rural areas of nearby counties. Police are investigating some of those tracks where betting is often heavy and lots of money is on the line. Horse racing itself is not illegal, but betting on horse races is unless it goes on at a licensed paramutual track. Last September, a Vegeta man was killed in a dispute over racing at an unlicensed track in Valencia County. An Albuquerque teen who broke into a funeral home last month and attacked a corpse was in juvenile court this morning. 17-year-old Dominic Goodman he pleaded no contest to burglary. He was not charged for what he did to the dead woman because New Mexico does not have a law against tampering with or mutilating a corpse. The judge sentenced good money to an intense anger management program. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.